Today's song was pretty much an instant classic for John Prine and Iris DeMint. I'm going to show you how you can strum through the song, a nice easy finger picking pattern, and of course how you can finger pick the great intro. It sounds like this. So first I'll show you how to strum through the song with a pick. You will need a C major chord, G major with your middle ring and pinky, because that's the easiest way to go from G to C. And you'll also need an F major. Now for this part of the video, the strumming part, I'm gonna do F like this, uh, a five string four finger F chord. There's more than one way to do an F chord, as you might know. I made a video all about that, so check out the description to this video. There's a link to a video I made called What the F? And that's gonna give you a bunch of options for the F chord. Okay, and advice and tips. Okay, now the strumming. Uh, for right now, this part of the, today's video, I'm going to do boom chick strumming. When I'm doing the C chord, I'm going to alternate between the fifth and the fourth. Same thing with uh, this F. And with G, I'm going to alternate between six and four. Like that, okay? Uh, so, the strumming, the boom chick strumming, you're going to hear me do it two times, just what I just did there, every time you see a chord name on the screen. So if it says C, you'll go 5, 4, and that's what the C represents, okay? You get the idea. So I'm going to walk you through the verse and the chorus nice and slowly. Oh, one, two, ready, go. She don't like the eggs John Prine sings right just like I did. Iris DeMent sings her part uh, of the verse, the exact same chord changes, and then they both go into the uh, both go into the chorus. Uh, by the way, if you listen closely with some uh, headphones on, you can hear guitar strumming like this happening in your right ear. Okay. Meanwhile, the finger picking is in your left ear. Kind of cool. Okay. So the chorus. Grab your F chord. In spite of our sins, end of sin. Okay, simple, straightforward, nice rhythm guitar, boom, chick, boom, chick. Uh, that does it for this clip. Now, in the next clip, I'll show you some nice finger picking that you can do to carry you through the verse and the chorus. And the final clip, we'll get into the note for note picking, finger picking uh, in the intro. Here it comes. I'm going to show you a finger picking pattern that really fits this song nicely, and it works for a lot of other songs as well. Uh, good news, you won't have to fret the F chord the same way. We're not going to be plucking the uh, first treble string, the high E string. So the F is one notch easier, and G is a lot easier. You could actually get away with a one finger G, ring finger, on the sixth string. Now, here's the finger picking pattern. I'll illustrate it with a C chord. My thumb is actually bouncing back and forth the same way your pick was in the first clip. My, on C, my thumb is going 5, 4, 5, 4. It's doing it on F as well. And on G, it's doing 6 and 4. Here's the pattern slowly on C. Thumb, 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 index, thumb, middle. My index finger plucked the third string. My middle plucked the second string. Thumb, 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 index, thumb, middle. Every time you see a chord name on the screen, that's what you're going to do. Same exact uh, plucking for the F. Thumb, thumb. Thumb, index, thumb, middle. And again, the index finger is rooted on the third string, the G string, middle finger on the second string. On G, just for fun, I'm going to do a one finger G over here. Six and four. Thumb, 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 index, thumb, middle. And just like before, index finger on three, 
middle finger on two. So every time you see a chord name on the screen, it's going to represent that much picking. So let's do the verse. One, two, three, four. She don't like her eggs all runny. She thinks crossing her legs is funny. She looks down her nose at money. She gets it all at the Easter Bunny. She's happy. Okay, pretty straightforward, right? Now, if you've mastered that, you feel comfortable with it, it's a great foundation for what we're going to do next, that nice finger picking, slightly more advanced, uh, that you hear in the intro. Here it comes. Now, we could spend a whole lesson just on finger picking this intro because it sounds great and it gives you a good foundation for this type of picking. In a way, you could call this Travis picking. You might have heard that phrase before, Travis picking. Um, it's when your uh, thumb is keeping a beat on the bass strings and your fingertips are picking out a melody. Okay, that's a, a good definition, a working definition of Travis picking. So, a uh, couple of quick tips. Your thumb is going to be responsible for the three bass strings. Your index finger should only be plucking the third string. Middle finger is going to be rooted on the second string. And your ring finger is responsible for the first string. Okay, stay with that orientation. Don't let your index finger jump around and do everybody else's job. Uh, now your fretting hand. Still C, F, and G, but I want to give you a couple of tips. You will occasionally need your left hand pinky finger to dance around a bit between the first string third fret and the second string third fret. Uh, G, definitely ring finger on the sixth string when you get to the G chord, that's important. And F, this is a biggie. You do need to fret F with your thumb wrapping around on the sixth string. And even if you just get a, a thump, that's okay. If you can get a nice pure ringing sound, that's even better. But if all you can get is a thump for right now, that's okay. Your other fingers though have a kind of easy job for F. We're not worried about the first string, your skinny E string. We just have index finger, second string, first fret. Uh, third string, second fret for your middle finger, fourth string, uh, third fret for your ring finger. Okay, but that is how you have to do uh, the F chord for this song. I think that is going to do it for all the details. Okay, now in this clip coming up, I'm going to play through it nice and slowly. Before I pick through the intro, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and to subscribe to my YouTube channel. And definitely check out my website, Songbike, for videos you cannot find on YouTube. I'll pick through this nice and slowly. Two. Three, right into the verse. Okay, not easy, right? But slow and steady. Practice the previous finger picking clip first to get used to the boom chick, boom chick, right? And then work on this nice and slowly. It'll uh, pay you big rewards in the future because like I said, so many songs have this type of style. Uh, the repetitive pattern you saw in the previous clip and then this sort of intro to Travis picking in this clip. All right, everybody, that will do it for today. Thank you, John Prine and Iris DeMent. Everybody loves this song, right? I know I do. I will see you again tomorrow for another great song.